Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'm going to be giving you the exact day by day schedule for how you can go ahead and score a 700 plus on the GMAT within two months. And if you are able to put in four to five hours per day, you're going to be able to see your score boost towards 750 plus as well. Now I assure you, you will not need any other video on this topic. You will not need any other schedule than the one that I will give you, but I want your undivided attention for the next 20 to 25 minutes. If you can give me that, I assure you, you will not need any other prep schedule. You will have the complete plan over here. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. Let me actually tell you before we, before we actually go ahead and get started with the plan that you can go ahead and sign up on ymgrad.com for all the free study material that we are going to be talking about in this video. And at the end of the, this video, I'll also tell you how you can go ahead and get the study material. Anyway, so first what we have to do is we have to start by realizing that hey look the gmat is going to be a time consuming task it's going to be a lot of preparation the average student who scores 700 plus already studies more than 150 hours so it's going to be a significant investment and you have to put in four to five hours every single day for the next 60 days right and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to realize even if you don't really have a lot of work-life balance wherever you're working maybe you're interning somewhere it's okay but you have to have some sort of a push for why you should basically study, put in those put in those four to five hours every single day, okay? And that's what we're gonna build right now. The first step, we're gonna build that push. And to do that, what you have to do is you have to go ahead and you have to register for the GMAT, you have to book the GMAT. It's extremely important that you book it because it will give you that push. And let me actually tell you what is the date you should book this test. So this is today, right now when I'm recording, it's 27th of March, so I'll go Two months forward from here i'll look at 27th of may and i'll look at the next weekend okay the weekend begins on the 29th all right and then we have the 31st that's the monday the the upcoming monday after the weekend that's when you book your test let me give you a quick reason why because saturday sunday if you have holidays off from work that is you will be able to revise your concepts you will be able to give your mind some ease on those days because you don't have to put in a lot of preparation you have to be chill on those days, you have to be calm on those days, so you only revise and you don't really want the pressure of work in your mind on those days. So make sure that the weekend is just before your test and your test day is just after this weekend. So yeah, you can take an off from the uh, from work on 31st and you can basically go ahead and take the test. Okay, it's really as simple as that. So book the test guys, don't really overthink this and let's move on to the, to the next part of your preparation plan. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take a free mock test, okay? So you can say GMAT mock test over here and you will see that mba.com mock test will appear somewhere around here. These are the official ones from the creators of the test. Now this is the one that you need to take. First two are absolutely free, then three to six you can go ahead and buy someday. Later on, for now, what we want to do is we want to take the practice test one. You don't want to take both of them because first off, these are the most accurate tests. So you don't really want to exhaust them as well. But you want to take one so that you understand a couple of things. Number one thing you'll understand is the format of the test. And let me actually show you the format over here. Let me bring this towards the screen. This is the format, guys. You need to understand this. It needs to be in your mind. What are all of these question types and what are they going to ask you? You need to know these, right? So these will be something that you understand. The next thing you'll understand is the flexibility that the test gives you right now. So there's three orders you can take the test in. You need to understand this as well, right? And finally, you'll understand your weaker areas. Are you out of touch of math? Are you not good at geometry? Is it something else that you're not good at? Is it IR? So all of these things, you will understand what is the part that you will need to put in the most time into. And you need to understand that before you actually go ahead and start preparing. So that's why these are really, really important. Just take up one mock test and take it today or tomorrow not later than that. It's got to begin. Okay, cool. I'm assuming you've done that now. And at this point, what we have to do is we have to begin with a preparation series. Now, I don't recommend going to offline coaching classes because even the traveling and all of that, or that's going to take up a significant amount of time when you basically add it up for both of two months. What you instead want to do is you want to build your own schedule. And trust me, I guarantee you 100% it's possible to score 750 plus and even higher actually on the GMAT by preparing all by yourself. You don't really need to rely on any coaching. But yes, I do recommend taking up some sort of an online courseware, self-paced or anything on demand, something like that. You know, you need to have it. So I'll recommend two or three packages over here. There's the Manhattan GMAT package. You can go ahead, you can take this has classes, labs, material, you know, all of this. Now, all of these videos are actually about one hour long. 
So you can see that there's definitely a significant amount of investment required over here in terms of the time. And secondly, you will also be solving a lot of questions because this will also have some materials some, some questions, session questions, you know, during the session that you'll be solving some handouts. So all of these are required. You have to put in this time. Okay. Now, if you don't like the Manhattan one, no problem. You can go ahead for the GMAT Kaplan one package. You know, Kaplan is also pretty good over here. Again, they have a lot of videos that you will be able to use to, again, ensure that your concepts are refreshed. There's basically a lot of lessons that you have to put in time into and you have to understand that all of these will take up significant time. So make sure that you understand that. Okay. And you have to solve a lot of questions as well, by the way. So doing these tests, it's not just, sorry, doing these videos, watching these videos, it's not just about watching the videos. It's about understanding these once and making sure that you never have to watch them again. How do you make sure of that? Because you've already spent a lot of time over here watching this video once takes you one hour. So the only way to do that, in my opinion, is to go ahead, make your notes, maintain a notebook, if you find some formula, some important question, something that you would like to remember from this video, the key takeaways, you note them down. So the next time you want to revise this concept, next time you want to revise geometry, you don't watch that one month, one hour long geometry video. You go ahead and take a look at your two page long notes because that's going to be your key takeaways. Apart from that, if you already knew something, you wouldn't have noted it down. If you wanted to rem remember something, you would have noted it down. So these notes are going to be very, very particular, very, very customized towards you and your preparation. And that's what we're trying to build over here. There's also the Magoosh GMAT course that you can follow again. So there's all kinds of courses, but I personally recommend these two. You can go ahead and you can check these out. Now, once you're done with this, and let me tell you, this will take you approximately 20 to 25 days. This is really time consuming. But once you're done with this, you are ready to begin the next part of your preparation. And that is to go ahead and take a look at the complete GMAT guides, Manhattan guides, and you have to solve all the questions from here. It is important. Now, let me actually tell you the right way to study because a lot of you may actually go ahead and study it in the wrong way. So let me sh make this a little bit smaller and we'll go on to the basically the topics, the contents, right? So over here, what you want to do is you want to understand, oh, okay, look, this is the book. This is polygons and they're going to be teaching me exactly what polygons are. And then they're going to be giving me some problem sets. You don't have to go ahead and learn what they're teaching you. Okay. You only have to do these questions because guess what? You already studied polygons. You already studied them in the video course. You already know the concepts. Now all you have to do is do the problems. Of course, if you find a chapter that you feel you're really, really weak at, maybe you can go ahead and study a little bit from here. But apart from that, these books are not for studying. They are for basically solving the questions. And let me tell you a lot of students, a lot of you guys waste the questions. Don't waste the questions. There's, they're a very limited resource solve five to 10 at a time, not more than that, five to 10. And you can use the timer or you can start without the timer first, you know, but five to 10 questions. And secondly, ensure that you go ahead and take a look at the back of the book, not just the answers, but also the solutions. Tally your way of solving to the book's way of solving. Are you solving it in the most optimal way? Is it really the fastest? You need to know all of this. This is where the key takeaways happen. This is where the people from 650 to 750 go. This is really how it happens. So you need to understand these takeaways. Okay. So once you are done with that, let's say, you know, you're done with the problem sets as well. You end this book and you basically go ahead and start with the next one like that. You have to solve all of these books. This should not take you more than 10 to 15 days. It's only the questions that you have to do, not anything more than that. And yes, I realize that, you know, it's going to take around four to five hours per day. That's why I already told you in the very beginning that you have to put in that amount of time. Okay. So once you're done with this book, Th these books, sorry, then comes the next part of your preparation. And this is going to be completely based on how much time you have on your hands. Some people may take 15 days to solve this. Some may take just 10 days. No, but after that, I recommend going on and solving the Kaplan test prep EPUB book. This is the basically Kaplan prep plus 2021 book. Every year they release one new book. So, you know, again, most of these questions are the same. Change the number over here at the year and everything. But anyway, you can go ahead and you can take a look at the table of contents over here. It's basically, again, the same thing. They're telling you that, you know, they will also be teaching you some concepts and they'll be testing you on the questions. Remember, you're using this book only for the questions. You're not using it for 
preparation now. You already have your notes. Re revise your notes, start with the questions. That's all you have to do, chapter-wise. Now, this is where your preparation should basically, traditionally, it should end. You don't really need to do any more books. I realize I did not talk about the official guides that the GMAT, GMAT gives you, the GMAT people give you, but it's only because I've seen that people don't really get so good results just by following those books, okay? They are okay questions and you can solve them, but the worst part about it is they're not segmented based on the chapters or the, you know, basically the question types. It's, no, it's not gonna give you questions on geometry and basically it's not gonna segment those questions for you into chapters. That's really what you need when you're preparing in the first place. So at this point, if you like, you can go ahead and you can solve the books. You can go ahead and you can solve the official, um, official GMAC guides. There's actually three books, if you already know. Most of you should know actually, you know, GMAT official, let me actually show you guides. And there's three of these. You can go ahead and you can take a look at these. But again, for me, I'll tell you they're not mandatory. Only do these if you have the time. But the next part that I'm gonna talk about, that's mandatory. That's something that you have to do, you cannot skip it. And that is to solve mock tests. At least 10 mock tests. This is the most important part of your preparation. You have to solve one mock test every day, not more, not less. One mock test for the next 10 days, you'll be solving every single day. And let me actually tell you how you're gonna be doing that. In the morning, you start with a mock test, or if, you, if you're working in the night, you start with a mock test, all right? Evening, you start, whenever you do, you start with a mock test, and basically the rest of the day, or maybe the rest of the next day's morning, you spend basically understanding where you went wrong, where you lost points, what could you have done better? You know, what are your weaker areas? You basically get that feedback into your system. And that's re really where, where your preparation will shine. If you're at a 720 right now, you'll move towards a 750 just by these mock tests and understanding where you're going wrong, okay? But if you follow the wrong kind of mock tests, you're not gonna go anywhere. So make sure to follow the right ones. I'll give you a list over here. The official ones, of course, are the best. Like I said, there's there's six of those. The first two are free, so you can buy the rest, okay? And I recommend buying them because they are really, really good. There's other mock tests as well, the Kaplan GMAT mock test, there's seven of those. Then the Manhattan GMAT mock test, there's six of those. There's a couple more, the Princeton ones, I believe. But again, all of the material that I'm talking about is gonna be available to you. But again, realize that these tests are given in the form of accounts, so you will have to go ahead and get the accounts itself, but you will have an option of getting them at a discounted price. I'll tell you how, okay? So regardless, once you're done with the mock tests, that's when your preparation traditionally ends. So basically that should be the point where, you know, maybe if your test is on the 31st, 27th or 28th, you should be done with your mock test. So that 29, 30, you can revise, 31st, you can go ahead and take the test. Key takeaways over here, you will find a lot of words that you will not know the meanings of you will know you will basically need to maintain your own dictionary i recommend making your own dictionary write down the keyword write down the not just the keyword the meaning and then you can write down a sentence you know in pencil so if you want to do something like that you know i've already done it also i can go ahead check out this website as well it will also have a lot of mock tests and a lot of other material that you may be interested in but you know the one that i'm going to show you over here is the is the dictionary that i built personally for myself and it's really about building a dictionary that you can go ahead and use for your test, you know. And really, it's about basically building one that, you know, you come across a question, you don't know the meaning of a word, you Google it, you write it down, that's it. And as long as you're following the GMAT material only, you will come across words that will help you on the test day. So that's the most important bit. You can see over here that I also created my dictionary. It had these words over here in black then the meanings were in blue and the writing underneath it is a sentence that's in pencil over there so that's again very very important you can go ahead and you know if you don't really want to build your own you can basically get mine but i would recommend building your own dictionary at the end of the day and finally the gmat is not a one shoe fits all or one size fits all test it's sort of like you know you if you're preparing your preparation plan can be wildly different from the one i'm explaining but this is just one of the right ways to go about it i'm not saying that there's no other right way there's definitely a lot of right ways and if you'd like me to create a customized schedule for you what you can do is you can reach me on instagram and we can basically go ahead prepare a customized schedule over a zoom call over a consultation okay but again at the same time i believe this is a pretty great schedule right here you can basically just go ahead right out of the box book your test you can start and you will be able to get the score that you are really, really interested in getting. So go ahead and start your preparation. And if you have any doubts, you can come to me. Again, like I said, all of the study material that you like, either it's available in the free material that you'll get when you sign up with us and you complete the offer of the year at wangrad.com, okay? Or 
basically this is free really so you don't have to pay anything for it or if there's the accounts the testing accounts you know or the you know video series what you can do is you can basically go into the materials page over here you know this is, this is the materials section again you may not be logged in either but either way you can get it from here otherwise okay but really sign up because you can use a lot of it information from this page from this website as well Again, thank you so much for watching. I know it was a long, long video, but I wanted you to get all of the concepts in this and I want you to go ahead and score well. So let me know your scores down below and I hope to see you in the next one. I really, truly wish from the bottom of my heart that you, all of you guys watching this score a 700 plus at least. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like the video and the efforts I'm putting in and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Goodbye and take care for now.